Time now for the weekly options alert. For that, we have Alan Nachman of Agora Financial joining us from Michigan's beautiful Upper Peninsula. I know you're tracking the market action, Alan. Hi, Angie. It's cold outside, but we've had some hot markets. No surprise, new all-time highs. Now, Monday, the Dow, the S&P, and tech all made new records for the first time since July. You have some big winners to talk about today as you track your WPI trades. What's the latest? Well, we've got some November positions coming off the board here, not this Friday, but Friday next. But the AMD, we took 50% profit on half and 100% on the second half. IWM broke above the 160 level. We're targeting 170. Verizon stuck around $60. And Exxon is looking for a breakout base here as we're seeing oil starting to show some rally. Alan, bring us up to date on your December WPI trade tracker. December, FireEye, we sold half at 50%. We've got Webio, uh, very close to taking profit there. Uh, January options, Cleveland Cliffs, we've seen a bounce. We want to watch $8. And British Petroleum, been trading between 35 and 40 since July, looks like it wants to break out once again. This week, your WPI trade trigger is Alcoa. Why that stock? AA, 30% off the bottom, but it's also 40% off the highs. Now, this stock was at $60 not so long ago. Recently, we've been trading between 18 and 22 for two months. That targets 26 on a breakout. Now, somebody sees something here. You're seeing a big buildup in positions here uh, in Alcoa. Some of these resource stocks have been left behind and looking like it wants to make a big move. What are your trading floor takeaways for today? Number one, yield stop. We've seen almost a straight down move uh, in the yields. And right now, the 10-year note's at the highest level in two months. So a bit of a bounce here. And uh, we're seeing that the markets are telling us that there's only a 30% chance now of another rate cut uh, by March, whereas before it had been 50%. Number two, oil's well. Saudi Aramco's IPO is very supportive of the oil market. Uh, we're stuck here at this 57 level. 57 is the halfway level of this drop from the top. A push above that could see a nice, healthy recovery. And number three, 20 time. Dow is closing in on 20% gain in 2019. Not bad for those who thought the end was near. Not. Thank you, Alan. We will see you back on the trading floor next time. Thank you. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.